Welcome to the use case demonstration of WSO2 API Manager. In this session, you will learn how to expose a legacy SOAP service to the REST API market by creating a REST API that is fronting the SOAP service. Let's consider the following scenario. The business owner develops and internally uses services for many years. To expand the business, they are planning to offer their services to partners and to new clients. One of the major challenges is to expose outdated SOAP web services to modern consumers like REST clients or mobile applications. The owner would like to avoid refactoring the whole solution. Senior team members in the IT team need time to adopt the new technology, while the new team members struggle to understand the old technology. At the same time, offering internal services to external consumers will require security implementation and rate limited access to avoid jeopardizing internal business processes. To avoid point to point communication between clients and SOAP web services, the proposed solution will use WSO2 API Manager to create an API management layer that will facade internal services. Because WSO2 API Manager has the capability to create REST API and SOAP throughput APIs based on a SOAP backend service. Using the solution, the external consumer with SOAP consumer applications can use the pass through API while REST consumer applications can use the RESTful version of the API. For today's demo, let's use a SOAP web service that offers information about countries. And to test it, let's use the SOAP UI application. When you provide the country code, you will get information with regard to the country, such as the capital and the language. You will need the web services WSDL definition in order to create the API. Let's navigate to WSO2 API Manager's Publisher, click Create New API, and select I have a SOAP endpoint. First, let's create the pass through part of the solution and enter the WSDL definition URL address. Next, let's fill in the required information such as the name, context, version, endpoint, select at least one business plan, and create an API. You can review all the provided information in the Overview tab, and with a single click, you can publish the API. Similarly, to create a REST API, you need to click Create New API, select Generate REST API, Provide the same WSDL URL address. Define a different name, context, and version. Thereafter, enter the same endpoint and select at least one business plan. In summary, you just created two APIs based on the same WSDL definition. One being a SOAP API and the other being a REST API. You will need to work with the developer portal to consume these APIs. First, you need to register the application that will consume the API. Let's create two separate applications. For internal consumers, let's create an internal application without any quota restriction. And for external users, let's create an external application with a quota restriction of 10 calls per minute. The next step will be to subscribe to the APIs using an application. Let's subscribe to both the APIs that are in the subscribe section. Now you can generate access keys and access tokens. Let's use the Postman application to test the APIs. Alternatively, you can also use WSO2 API Manager's built-in testing console for API testing. Let's create a POST request. Enter the access token in the authorization header. 
you can use the 8243 HTTPS port or the 8280 HTTP port. You need to use the REST API version URL with the proper context, a version, and a resource name. In the body section, you need to provide the correct JSON and set up the context type as application slash JSON. You can invoke the SOAP-based web service with a JSON request using REST APIs and in return, you will get a JSON response. After 10 calls within a minute, your request will be blocked. To test the SOAP API, let's clone the previous request and point it to the SOAP context. When you use the same request, you will notice that it will be rejected if you do not provide the correct access token in the authorization section. Just like when testing the REST API, every call after reaching the quota limit will be rejected. As you can see, you do not need any changes to the existing SOAP services and the provided solution does not need any coding skills. In addition, you can use WSO2 API Manager to secure and throttle external access to internal resources. Furthermore, there is no technology or vendor lock-in when using the WSO2 open source solution. Thank you for watching and hope you learned something new and useful.